Hey everyone and welcome back to another episode of a Pokemon VGC 2019 Battle Series. I hope you're all well having a great day as we kicked off this week in our last episode with a Reindeer Kyogre team. Um, Reindeer Kyogre? Reindeer has got Kyogre in. Reindeer Tornadus Mega Swampert team. If you missed yesterday's episode and you'd like to go back and check that out before coming in today's one, as always, click up there. And I will link a card for you in the description. Um, I'm just saving a game right now because I'm doing two episodes back to back pre recording. And like I said in yesterday's episode, one of the things I wanted to do going forward was just skip screen there, just to make sure I've got the, can I have the rating on, was to ask you guys what you want to see finished off how what you want to see introduced to this reindeer team before we finish it off for the rest of the week so that's what i'm doing i'm going to play this yesterday today and then tomorrow we're going to make some big changes depending on what you guys would like to see so leave your comments down below as always the team is down in the description below there's a roll paste poker paste go ahead try it out and as always if you enjoy this content guys please make sure to leave a like on the video do subscribe for the channel for more pokemon content and uh, i've already mentioned the the comments all 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 the stuff we have our first opponent now so we need to hop into that team preview screen once again uh all right what are we looking at xerneas tapulele lunala lucario incineroar and amoongus it is a qr code team so if i'd been doing my homework i would know all about this team but sadly i've not been swatting up enough on the global links so i do not know but we can make some educated guesses you've got the tapulele there that's gonna be um the support for setting up the xerneas to get around that fake out support there that normally shuts it down you've got follow me support from lucario it could potentially and probably is the mega of the team as well so it is potentially quite threatening there's no weather on my opponent's team which is quite interesting um you've got the incineral there with intimidate support and fake out support uh, the immune is going to be the team's trick room check of course um probably tailwind more than anything else i'd imagine the the lunala has got the psych up as well which is something that we'll need to watch out for i really want to lead kyoga swampert i really do um i just see the lele coming out i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it to kick us kick us off today. Uh, I am going to bring Ferrothorn and do we bring Tornades uh, or Xerneas? I think Xerneas. Let's go Xerneas. And kick in and get back to with it. Like I said in yesterday's episode, obviously I'm pre-recording two episodes. I don't know what, <laughs> like, I don't know what happened to this today. I even lifted out a hat. I was like, I'll just wear a hat. I'll cover it up. But I think I look just as bad in a hat <laughs> that I do with my hair. It's like, okay, what's going on? I mean, that is just, that is just terrible. But anyway, besides the point, we're playing Pokemon, we're not here, we're not a hair salon, unfortunately. As much as I would love to be. Not really, but I mean, kind of cool. Um, okay, Lucario and Lunala. You guys are sitting watching this probably thinking, what is this guy talking about? I thought this is like Pokemon, competitive Pokemon stuff. I'm talking about hair? Right, well, we, well, we, well be a bit more serious now so we're going to see Lucario we're going to see Lunala come in nice thing is we've got potential to just throw out Mega Evolve and Earthquake if we want to I mean I kind of want to do that to be honest but Earthquaking is a little bit of a problem because we're going to be Earthquaking into our huh. I mean one of the things we could potentially do is just Origin Pulse uh, and Mega Evolve and protect Swampert. The only problem is I would see here doing that would be my opponent going Tailwind with Lunala, which would put us in a worse position going into the next turn. Um, it's just I want to chip the Shadow Shield before I attack it. And I feel like Lucario probably switches out. I'm going to do this. I'm going to just protect Swampert here. It's just I feel like Lunala wants to potentially Z move into that Swampert slot. That's what I would imagine. I'm a bit surprised that the Lucario stays on the field, knowing that Earthquake could potentially come out and do some big damage to it. But there we go, Frogman. Let's see. I just hope we're not giving my opponent the opp opportunity to set some sort of speed control up. We've seen the Lucario protect, we potentially are with the Tailwind here. Yeah. Okay. 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 Right. Origin Pulse. I mean, we'll break the, 
the the um the shield on. We could have water spouted there as well. It would have been annoying, but it's still alright. Mm, we can origin pulse again now. Um It's a shame we don't have Incineroar here, because like the Incineroar here would be incredible for us. Um we don't really have any speed control ourselves. It's just you probably do close combat into Swamper. You definitely Z move into Swampert, I think. 100%. Like, I don't want to lose Swampert. That's the thing. I'm going to just bring in Ferrothorn. It should take a hit. Might even take the Z move if we see it come out from Lunala. Bad selection. And, and either the thing is, though, I say bad selection. You want Incineroar against Lunala for sure, but Lucario covers it so well with that fighting type offensive like that it's got you know you don't want to leave Incineroar in front of Lucario, Mega Lucario especially don't stand any chance okay it's into Kyogre I kind of mm, maybe prefer that special defense if we can get an origin pulse off that's huge now here's the Z move and this is why I think you're probably going into that Lunala slot it's not ideal because if we do lose Ferrothorn here come on Ferrothorn take it Take it like a man. You take it. He's so good, Ferrothorn. Get all our health back. Like nothing happened. Origin Pulse. Why? <laughs> I mean, I kind of prefer. I don't prefer missing either. I'd like it to have hit both targets, to be honest. But. <sighs> what can you do? Xerneas gonna make its way onto the field now, for sure. I kinda need Kyogre as well for Mega Swampert a late game. The Z move's gone on Lunala though, so that's that's like one thing that we've got going for us at the moment. Let's see what my opponent brings. They might not have bought the Xerneas. It would surprise me if they haven't though. Among Us. Okay. Hmm. I really don't mind this at all. Um okay. Do we just protect Kyogre? Just kind of... Hmm. Hmm. I could bring in Xerneas here. Um, it's just it's not really doing too much once we bring it in. Like, the Amoongus is going to be a pain to deal with in general. Um, we need to chip it down. I just feel like the Lunala... Well, the Lunala probably attacks. Yeah, we can't. We can't afford to lose. Let's switch in. I'm not going to be able to lock anything in with Ferrothorn, but I might have just leech seeded into Amoongus, but I think I might have timed out as well. Too much faffing round. I'm hoping that we timed out and we just get the protect. That would be ideal. Lunala protects. That's all right. We're not wasting any. <laughs> And we protect, that's fine. Protecting on our protect. We're gonna see a grass knot. Yeah. Great. Which is also alright. Um, because we can protect this turn. And then gonna leech seed into Lunala. Like we planned to do from the start, and then that'll be the tailwind gone. I wonder if the Amoongus has got clear smog. It's definitely got spore. But Ferrothorn's in a decent place now. Like, it's not overly threatened. Lunala's Moonguy's Beam's gonna do a decent amount, but if we can get a Leech Seed off, it's not so bad, it's not so bad. Hmm. <clears throat> Moonguy's Beam, yep. Yeah. Oh, Leech Seed, please hit. Yes. Ferrothorn. So good. So reliable. <clears throat> now, do you switch out? Hmm. 
you switch the Lunala out though? That's the question here. Hmm. I mean, I don't mind if you do. I think we just protect anyway, because if you switch the Lunala out, Ferrothorn's still not, yeah. I mean, we could have went Gyro Ball there, but, and if Amoongus puts our Xerneas to sleep, this is fine, because Xerneas doesn't like, like the Amoongus has put no pressure at all onto our Ferrothorn. Um, and if you want to get Lunala back in, you've got to switch it back in. Uh, that's just turns of us like, like burning through these sleep turns, to be honest. And once we have like an end game, where it's Amoongus and versus everything else, then it's going to be fine, isn't it? Um, so I think we just use these turns to try and get Geomancy up if we get a quick wake up. We're obviously not going to wake up this turn. Um, do we Leech Seed though? Like, there's a part of me that wants to Leech Seed the Amoongus. Like, really. Because I feel like the Lunala comes in on that slot and the Xerneas protects. Should we be like super ballsy and call it? Because that would pull us right. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it and predict the Amoongus switches out. As it's useless right now. You think, let's get the Lunala in on that slot. Uh, you're not going to gyro ball that slot. Or leech seed that slot. But we are going to. Because I feel like the Xerneas, my opponent Xerneas, protects here. And then the Lunala. Oh, okay. We, get, we guess it wrong. We guess it wrong. That's fine though. Ah. Uh. It would have been cool if it came off though, right? <laughs> okay, there's a grass knot. <sighs> Should have just done it into the zone. I thought the protect was too obvious there. Now the problem is we are in... Um, uh, we are in Moongus beam range, for sure. Um, hmm. This Moongus is so tricky without anything to really deal with it, which is... Not the best for us at all. Um, do we just Moonblast or do we Geomancy? I think we just Moonblast the Lunala and just protect Ferrothorn. There's Moongo Beam. Hopefully we wake up with Xerneas. Ah, come on, wake up. We need you to wake up, Zern. Oh, I don't know if we're going to be able to get around this now, really. Um, we might have to... I can't afford to sack anything in the back. I mean, we could bring in Swampert there. It'll probably take a Moongai's Beam, for sure. If Xerneas goes down, we get the Kyogre in. Then we can double into the Amoongus. And we still preserve Ferrothorn. It's one way for us to get around this, potentially. Oh, how much are you going to take from this, good old Swampy? Ah, uh, not too bad. Xenius wakes up. If we get the Lunala here with the Moonblast, that's huge for us. Can we, though? Can we? Can we? Ah, oh, it's so close. It's fine, though, because we get, we now get, we now get the Kyogre in. And then Lunala's got to feel super threatened. But all we need to do is get rid of... Well, no, we don't want to bring in... We don't want to bring in... We don't want to bring in Ferrothorn just yet. Not just yet. No. Um, we do need to get rid of the Lunala. But the Lunala's got to feel pretty threatened right now. I mean, Ice Punch, Origin Pulse. Will that get Amoongus? I really don't think it will. That's why I want to go Ice Beam, Ice Punch into that slot. Amoongus hasn't... Hmm. Just the Lunala gets a free hit then. And once you take down the Kyogre... Uh, I mean, as long as we get... As long as we get the Amoongus here, then it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because then we've got Ferrothorn. And we might still be able to do it. I don't know. It's just the Ferrothorn on such low health now. The Lunala's got to feel so threatened though. That's the thing. I feel like if... I'm Lunala right now. I want to preserve myself. Utilize Amoongus. And we should be able to get the Amoongus. Ice Punch. Better bing. 
Bada boom. There we go. Bye bye, Amoongus. Who needs a flying type or fire type or psychic type when you've got the big frog and the big whale on the field, in the rain, loving life, having the best time ever? Uh, <clears throat> and I wonder if an earthquake. <laughs> it probably doesn't. An earthquake probably doesn't get it. We just need to get the Lunala. We don't need to get ahead of ourselves at all. Uh, we've got Origin Pulse. Ah, just... I don't want to allow the Xerneas to get set up with a Geomancy because that could be tricky for us because everything's in very low range from Moonblast... Moonblasty things. Um, hmm. Do I Earthquake? I don't Earthquake. I definitely don't Earthquake. I kind of want to waterfall the Xerneas and go Ice Beam. I'm going to Ice Beam the Lunala. No! What do I do? What do I do? I'm going to waterfall the Xerneas. I'm going to waterfall the Xerneas. I'm going to do it. I feel like we could throw here. Lunala come for the double protect. Okay, we make the better decision in the end. It could have been the wrong decision. But we get the Xerneas with the waterfall. Swampert, the boy that it is doing all the work. And the Ice Beam there into the Lunala and we pick up another nice victory with this team which is super good for us and we'll go <clears throat> into our next one and you know what guys I haven't had any music on this whole time I can't believe it I can't believe it so rushed going into this one I didn't have any music on so we'll have an overlay we'll have music for the rest of the episode obviously apologies about that and we'll come back into the screen so we can have a look what our rating is but yeah what I was gonna say is if you guys want to see me just play out the rest of this week with this team let me know if the if the majority of you want to see more mega swampert then we can do that we can do that for the rest of the week for sure I think it's got a lot of potential it's been a bunch of fun to play so far so if you'd like to see more mega swampert of course we will play more mega swampert and we will do that for the rest of the week so definitely Definitely, that is an option as well. But if there's other builds you want to see go forward, let me know. Got our next opponent, probably our last one of the episode today. But we'll jump straight into team preview. If I can click around quickly enough. So we've got our next opponent, and Tornadus, Landorus. We've got Rayquaza, Tapacoco, Ferrothorn, and Kyogre. So we've got that Rayogre combination there. You've got Tailwind support from the Tornadus. You've got a Tear Trick Room uh, check almost in that Ferrothorn. You've got the fast offensive Tapu Koko here that could cause us a few issues. Um, and then you've got Landorus Therium, which is going to provide Intimidate support. It's probably got the Z move if something like Tapu Koko hasn't. But there's quite a few options for a Z move here. You've got Tapu Koko, Landorus, Tornadus even. And uh, I'd even say the Ferrothorn there. Um, right, okay, what are we going to do against this team? Hmm. I mean, really, really, what is stopping us going Incineroar Xerneas here? Um, and setting a Geomancy up. Um, I think that's not bad. I do want to bring Swampert. Um, do I want to bring Kyogre or do I want to bring Ferrothorn? Like, Ferrothorn's pretty nice here, but... I think I'm going to go Kyogre and then rely heavily on Incineroar to deal with that Ferrothorn. Hmm. Let's just do it. This might be the last time we play this team. I'm going to just lock in with these four. I want to bring these four. We're going to have a bit of fun and I think they can do a job. So th there we are. I think the Ferrothorn is going to be very tricky. But if we can get ourselves into a position where we've got Water Spout, we've got Geomancy potentially up, then, I mean, Ferrothorn then doesn't become really that much of an issue, does it? So Tapu Koko and Tornadus. The question will be is, does the, the Tapu Koko have Taunt? And that's a big question. Because if it does, it shuts us down completely. But if it doesn't, then we're all right. And I'd probably say it maybe doesn't because the Tornadus definitely has Taunt. Um, the question is though, does the, the Coco have the Electrium Z, which would be something I would definitely think it has. 
I really want to stop the Tailwind though, and Xerneas is going to be able to take a Gigavolt Havoc from Coco, even in terrain, so we'll just J-Mancy anyway. We'll see if we can get it off. Fake out. No! It had it! <laughs> the one thing that we thought we could do with... Ah, okay. Fair play, Tapu Coco. Well played, my friend. Um, hmm. Do we Z-move right now? I mean, I kind of would prefer to adjust my board position maybe a little bit. Um, Tornadus is definitely going to Tailwind, for sure. It'd be nice to be able to get rid of it. But, for the fact that they might have Ferrothorn, I do want to preserve Incineroar. So, I'm just going to go for the U-turn into Tornadus. And... I'm just gonna da do a dazzle. I feel like the Tornadus is a, uh, the Xerneas is a big target here for that type of core call. So I'm gonna switch in Swampert. Hope that you go for a Volt Switch onto that slot. If even better would be that that Gigavolt Havoc. It's a Tailwind. Yep. What are we gonna see Coco do? Come on, Coco. There we are. Come on. Yep. There it is. <laughs> I get way too much invested in these sort of things. Come on. Ah, there, sorry. <laughs> Swamp Bear eats that up. Lovely, great, great stuff. Great stuff here. Um, what we'll do, we'll bring in uh, Xerneas. I don't want to bring the rain just yet because I don't want to give my opponent the opportunity to um, get a free hurricane into uh, a Swamp Bear slot. So... Hmm. Again, I feel like earthquaking is very difficult for us. Um, I don't think we geomancy though. That's for sure. I think we probably just go moonblast into Coco and um, do we mega evolve an ice punch with tornadoes? I think that might be quite nice. I probably imagine the, the Coco to okay, maybe wall switch. That's what I was thinking. But we're just going to see the Kyogre come in. I wonder if the Coco's got Thunder. It's blending what it's got, isn't it? Ice Punch is doing jack to this the Kyogre, though. That's why Earthquaking would have been way better. I mean, if we just protected Xerneas, that would have been the better play, to be honest. Protected, Mega Evolved, Earthquake, bye bye Coco. No option to escape. Going for the taunt again, which I kinda don't mind to be honest. Really like I really don't mind. This is a bit annoying from us. Let's look at the freeze. Ah, no freeze. Okay, but we can do the moon blast. It's into Coco, so we'll get some nice damage off there. And the special attack drop, which is good. Uh, hmm. Uh, we've got to stall out this tailwind for sure. Hmm. Do we just Moonblast the car like Xerneas? We need to switch it out. We cannot protect. I mean, we could go on to Kyogre, but then we lose our own Kyogre, which is never going to be good. But um, we could just attack. Like, are we going to need this for later on? Or do we need the other? Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll stay in with Xerneas. We'll try and get a Moonblast. Actually, we'll try and get a Dazzle onto Kyogre. And pick up the knockout onto that type of Coco. And we'll just protect Swamp Hurt this turn. Kind of hoping. Uh, I don't know. We'll probably see uh, Thunder. Okay. Yeah, this plus. Water Spout will be more than enough to get the Xerneas here. And then we get Paralyzed to boot. But. Ooh, Origin Pulse could miss. Could miss. Doesn't miss. I don't think we take this though. So. We are pretty bulky, but. Oh, we do. Doesn't gleam. Ah, Xenia is still... I mean, paralyzed now, it's... It's not the best. And I would have preferred Xenia's to go down there, to be honest. So we get the free switch into Incineroar. So we got that fake out support. Because now it makes it a little bit awkward. I mean, the, th the electric threat is gone from the field. So we do have a switch into... Um, Kyogre, if we want to. Hmm... 
Oh yeah, this is this is this is difficult. Um I think we'll Moonblast Kyoga. So what's my opponent got? They've probably got Ferrothorn, right? I'm gonna say they got Ferrothorn. I'll bring in Kyoga. We'll probably take a hurricane and an origin pulse into the Swampert slot though. But Kyoga should take it. Mm, it's just trying to get around these tailwind turns. Uh, it's gonna be hard to kind of deny another tailwind, really, with the tornadoes. Yeah, there's a hurricane, <sighs> and it gets the confusion and origin pulse not missing. Man, okay. Confusion's not so great there for us at all. Hmm. The tailwind pittering out, which is good. Um, the Kyogre's really going to be difficult to deal with, to take down. I mean, we can get rid of the Tornadus for sure. Yeah, we've got Ice Punch into that slot. And... Um, yeah, I mean, we, we'd have to try and get some damage onto the Kyogre with the Origin Pulse. Maybe it puts it in range for an Earthquake, but the Kyogre Protect is going to try and get the Tailwind set up. So that's nice. I mean, we don't take any damage here with, with Swampert. We don't necessarily need to. We could potentially get an Earthquake. If it is Ferrothorn, we get an Earthquake off. We could potentially close this game out. Oh, Kyogre, stop. No, bad Kyogre, bad Kyogre. We need to be not confused and actually damage things. Come on, be fair, Thorn. Because I think we can... Ah, oh, it's Rayquaza. Okay. Hmm. I still think we could actually probably do this, you know. Um, it might mean sacking Incineroar this next turn. But actually, actually not. Okay. Let's protect Swampert. Let's switch in Incineroar. Now I think because the rain's not up, an Origin Pulse we'd probably take with Incineroar. And if the Rayquaza Mega Revolves, then that's fine. We get the Intimidate onto the Rayquaza, which is the big thing. And if it does Mega Revolve, it means that we are going to be able to get a Kyogre back in and get the rain up, which does make Swampert a bit more of a threat against the Rayquaza. On forward, sure, uh, it's still going to be a bit of a threat, and it could sword stance here, which would be not ideal for us. But I don't think you do. I think you've got to attack the Kyogre here to try and get around that, that the threat of the ice beam, because you can't take it down reliably with your own Kyogre. So you've got to be thinking about that. I feel at least. Okay, so Swampert going to protect. Let's see what my opponent goes for. Dragon Ascent into this Olga slot. Yeah. Now, if Incineroar can take this turn. Come through this turn, that's huge for us because we get the fake out support, which is massive. I just don't think take an origin pulse from here. Unless it misses. This Kyogre's got like extra like just super super vision. It's never gonna miss. Um but we do we do get a Kyogre back in. Now, I don't think we're going to be able to take down the opposing power with an earthquake, unfortunately. Depending on its speed. I don't know if we outspeed it. Depending on how slow it is. But we know the Rayquaza is life orbed. So what we could potentially do is... Ice Beam it here. And we could... Hmm... I don't know if we double it. Does the Rayquaza protect here? I don't think it does. I think it attacks Kyogre. So we could potentially go Earthquake. Are we just Ice Punch, actually? Yeah, let's Ice Punch the Rayquaza. Let's protect. Just whether or not you double the Swampert here. Hmm. Yeah, you're doubling in the swamp, but it's whether or not we outspeed the Kyogre now. Hmm. 
We had speed, we'll get it. But I mean, the origin pulse hits here, we probably go down to it, which is a little bit of a shame. Crit didn't matter. Crit don't matter. Okay. Scald, okay. Hmm. No, we don't take that. I'm looking at it like, do we take it? <laughs> no way. No way we take that. Uh, Alright. One turn of Tailwind left. Mm. It's got Origin Pulse. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think we can do this. Scald. As long as we don't get burned, we've got to. We've got to wait. No, Ben. If we hit that there, I think. <laughs> Ah, uh, Origin Pulse, doing Origin Pulse, shenanigans, uh, we wouldn't, it doesn't matter, we wouldn't have outspeeded anyway, so very good game to my opponent. Um, yeah. Mm, just trying to think if there's a way for us to get around that one, it was a tough one, I think maybe selection wise we could have brought some different stuff, I'll have to have a look back at that, I can't remember off the top of my brain right now, but we will end things up there, very good game to my opponent, and guys thank you so much for tuning in, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode, it's been a bunch of fun, um, and the team's still doing well, so as I've said the last couple of days, today, yesterday, um, let me know in the comment section what you'd like to see going into tomorrow's episode, and I'll make sure that we see whatever comes out on top, from all of you so thank you again have a great day make sure you're taking care of yourselves whatever you're up to and we'll see you in the next one guys so until then take care and bye bye